On March 6, 2023, a 911 call was made to report a woman who was going around shoplifting at multiple stores. The police arrived at the scene of Safeway Mall to find the culprit attempting to leave. Stop! Brittany, you're under arrest! Stop! 33, I've told her she's under arrest. She's not stopping. Turn around, face him. Brittany, you're under arrest. You're under arrest, okay? Hey, Why? Put your hands behind your no. back. You have a warrant. You're under arrest. I'm not. I don't want a warrant. Get the hey, fuck off of me. It's okay. We're going to take it out. Brittany. Hey. We don't want to make this a bigger deal than it needs to be. Brittany. Stop. 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 Hey. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. 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 Hey, stop! Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. The officer announces to the woman, who is known as Brittany, that she is under arrest, but she only ignores him. Once backup arrives, the both officers approach Brittany, who attempts to flee, but they are two steps ahead. Once cornered, she immediately begins resisting and gives the officers a hard time restraining her. Brittany, put your hand behind your back. Brittany. I got it on if you want to. Okay. Brittany, Brittany, stop. Stop, okay. Get the other Brittany. One? Oh. Stop biting. Stop biting me. Stop. Get the f off Stop me. Stop trying to bite me. Okay. You want to go that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. I got your phone. Hottest you want to get, Cuss? Yeah. yeah. You got the arm back. Okay. Do we need to? If we need yeah. to. I got it. I got it wrong. Pretty good. I got it. Take some deep breaths. We'll get you on your side as soon as your handcuffs are on. Getting her to relax enough for the officers to put the handcuffs on her was not going as planned. It took more than two officers to get her hands behind her back, all while she kept trying to bite the officers holding her down. We're rolling you over, okay? Look at the girl over there. Roll this way. Which way do you right want to roll? Here. We're trying to help you, you sit roll up. This way? Which way do you want to roll? We are trying to help you. No, you're not touching me. Brittany, you're in good at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Broke my yeah. own, broke my we oh, want baby. to roll you over. Let us help you. You can't take me to jail. Okay, but we want to help you first. Roll you over. You. We're gonna roll you over on your side, left or right. You pick. Side. Which way do you want to roll? She has any stolen items. Yeah, right here. This is illegal hell. Can we please roll you over so I'm we can talk? Get my freedom from me. I'm a grown here, ass Can we roll you on your side? I don't want you laying on your stomach. My grown man, let's hey. take my f***ing shit from me. There's some witnesses that saw her bite my finger, too. Even handcuffed, she remained uncooperative and would not let the officers help her get off the ground. Since she was on the bigger side, they needed to roll her over so she would not get hurt in the process. I saw three on me because she bit my finger and I got a bruise on it, so... Okay. And we have witnesses to that. Brittany, can we roll you on your side, please? Roll over, just so you're aware. She's We're trying to roll over. Can we roll you over? No. We just want to make sure you can breathe okay. Because it's hard to roll you over. Take my bra, take my shit. Why? You don't roll me. She never will. Okay, our sergeant's here. He's going to come talk to you. Okay, we're going to roll you over. 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 Where's your feet? Uh, I'll put in your glove on, yeah. Yeah, we'll get pictures of him and his feet. Oh, God, it's already got it. Oh, you did? Yeah. We've tried multiple times to ask her to roll over to try and help her, but she doesn't want to. Just so you're aware. Okay, she's breathing okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me, you take me to jail, 
Okay. So we have a salt breeze issue. Can you bit your finger? I have a bruise on my finger. So. Is you okay? Broken yeah. skin? Uh, it's bruising. It's yeah, I don't think it looks like a... The officers tried talking her into cooperating, but she was more concerned with informing them that what they were doing something illegal by detaining her. Despite her crime, the officers had to make sure she was not injured or finding it hard to breathe. They called for emergency officers. Is he hard? It's clearly on top. Just too much sleep. It'll be clear. So I was over her like this. I'm trying to get her on free. I don't want to go anywhere. You want to roll? No, no, no. You're going on your side. Just stay there, Brittany. You can roll your side if you want. He's, uh, he's going inside to look at camera footage of this. If you don't mind. Yeah. Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate that. Once yeah. she's secured in the car after he checks her out, let's make sure we get pictures so of him. Looks like she's bleeding somewhere. Too. There was blood on the clothes when you came up to her. So I don't okay. Know. It might be old. It might be old, but we haven't seen the front of her since then. So. Right. Brittany, are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Let me go. Okay. So you're not injured. Give me your guns. Okay, you're not injured, okay. Okay. So I see him in the grave. So she's under arrest. Brittany already had a couple of warrants out for her from her previous shoplifting expeditions, so she wasn't going to have it easy. But in addition to shoplifting, she had now managed to assault an officer and was resisting arrest. Higher ups from the station were called in to assess the situation on ground. All their inquiries into how she was feeling was met with insults and yelling. So we're running like a okay. So you just gotta do a statement thing, you can So basically like do a narrative in a statement form? Yeah. Do I type it? Right? Uh you yeah. can. Okay, uh, I'm gonna type it. Just type it, print it, and then uh, we have effectively just, five additional you new crimes. Like, Maybe up six. And just put the department address yeah. and stuff. Okay. Two okay. counts of theft, one from Big Five. After getting multiple witness statements to validate the officer's experience, it's time to transport Brittany to the station where she would be charged. They face some more resistance transporting her. In the end, Brittany gets charged with two counts of theft from two different stores, two counts of assault of the third degree from biting the officers and resisting arrest. I think we can all agree that police officers do not get paid enough to deal with people like this. In our next encounter with a shoplifter, officers once again show us the reason why not everyone can do their jobs. On March 16, 2023, authorities receive a call from a grocery store reporting a woman suspected of shoplifting. Upon arrival, the woman was found coming out of the store's restroom. She was not prepared for what came next. Okay. She's already taken products into the restroom. Into the restroom? Okay. Yeah. She was kind of keeping that in. Okay. You want to yep, take it back, back here, too. All right. And she's been trespassed before? Oh, several times. Do you have any paperwork? Um, we, do you still have that picture? We don't have paperwork for you guys. I'm we sorry, you said, you, you said what? You have we what? do not have paperwork from you guys. She always bails have out you, of here. Have you guys told her yes. not to come back? Okay. Yep, I'll we, just need I'll need a statement in reference to that. So I'll take this back. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to wait for my partner to get here unless she comes out of the bathroom. Oh, no, she'll be in there for a while. She took okay. Me okay. How's it going? Hello. Yeah, so we have this lady. She just walked in. Uh, we trespassed her twice for boy. Okay. Um, Within okay. how long? It was probably two months ago. Two months, uh, this okay. is older than that, but I recognized yeah. her. I verbally trespassed her. She was not happy about it. Okay, um, so you you were the one who verbally trespassed her previously? Yeah, most okay. recently, about, I would say two months ago. Okay, I'm going to wait for my partner to get here. Like Officers arrived, and the employees led them to the restroom where the culprit was suspected to be hiding in. It turns out the culprit had been trespassed at the same store about two months ago, but she was back again committing the same act. Talk about consistency. In fact, she had been caught stealing on several occasions and managed to get away each time, but not today. For burglary, if you're okay with that. Cool. Okay. Hi there, Randy Wilson, Lady Police Department. You're being detained right now. You're not free to leave. Hi. 
Can you come here, please? No. Don't go out that door. It's You're under, it is an emergency. You're under arrest for trespass. No. You're under no, arrest I'm for trespass. No, I'm not under arrest. I'm not under arrest. I'm not under arrest. I'm not under arrest. Do not resist me. I'm not under arrest. I'm not under arrest. I'm not under does not have to wait for long because soon enough the culprit walks out of the restroom. Immediately she sees the officer, she begins to back up. While the officer explains to her that she is being arrested, she makes a straight for the exit door, but even that is locked, keeping her in. The officer immediately grabs her to detain her, but she begins to resist and starts yelling very loudly in her words. She is not under arrest. Trespass, you're a liar! You're going against your job! Stay on the ground. No, he's a liar! He's a liar! Mr. President! He's a liar! Get off of me! 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 Don't bite. I hate you. Stop. I'm not supposed to be in there. I'm not supposed to be in there. I'm not supposed to be in there. Oh! 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 Her yelling does not make any sense and she even calls out for the president to come save her. When she begins to growl and fight against the officers holding her down, they realize they are dealing with a problematic one. With backup, the officer is able to detain her properly. Mission is on the site. It's on the website. Ow! You're sitting on my ankles! Just take a breath. No, he's hurting my ankle. And you don't even look. This is why you guys are a disgrace. And I am going to tell the President of the United States. Because that is who I'm in contact you're being, with. You're being you. audio and video recorded. You. The liars that I had permission from the President of the United States and these people who are harassing me and have been stalking me are the reason that you're here. And the reason I've been getting... getting Kicked out of everywhere. I'm not lying. No. Stop hurting my foot. You are being rude. See, right now you're being hypnotized. There's red in the air. And I didn't do this to myself. I'm not a liar. And I'm not in mean. Ow! Ow! You just did that on purpose. You don't do that to me. I'm not mean. I'm a tyrant. I'm not mean. Please be gentle. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't supposed to go to jail at all. I was about to go to the United States. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Though her words don't make any sense, she claims to have received permission from the president to take things from the store without paying. 
but that's not an announcement the officers would miss hearing. Her rambling causes the officers to believe she could be a danger to herself and others, and they employ more reliable means to further secure her. Yeah. Um, so can you explain to me, just real quick, because I know we didn't get too into it. You said a couple months ago um, she came in. What yeah. happened a couple months ago? On that flyer, uh, um, one of my employees saw her put on nail polish on okay. the aisle. And she that she didn't, her she purchase. didn't do that. Yeah, she, okay. didn't purchase. She, she was just doing it right in the aisle. Okay. And she stormed okay. off, That's so we trespassed her. Okay. Uh, then when I trespassed her, she had came in. She was in the bathroom for probably an hour or two hours. Hour or two hours? Okay. Yeah. And it was really hard to get her out. I recognized her. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to From the previous incident you yeah. told me about? I wasn't there for that, but I had the photo. Okay, I mean, right. Oh, it's the same person. So. Yep. Trespass. The store decides to pursue charges against the culprit since she has been causing problems at the store for a while, returning every time to shoplift again. She had received multiple trespass warnings, but even that did not stop her. Hopefully, with her finally being charged for her chronic stealing, she might give up on that lifestyle. In our next video, a brazen duo almost gets away with robbing a bank, but quick thinking on the police's path gets them apprehended. On the 16th of July, 2022, an off-duty officer from Broadview Heights witnesses what looks like a bank robbery going on in Brexville, Ohio. The Chagin Valley Dispatch Center received the call and sent out the information to officers on duty. It seemed the robbers had finished their operation and had fled the premises. Within minutes, independent officers were on the highway searching for the pair of criminals. 7500 Chippewa. Okay, got it. Okay, black Toyota Camry. Okay. I'm following you. Pulling on to... Uh, we're pulling on to Chippewa, going towards Brexville Road. Pulling on to Chippewa, going on to Brexville Road. Okay. Keep going Brex around traffic. He's going around traffic. He's going to make a... He's going straight. He's going, he's going, going around traffic. He's going straight to the highway. Tell, just black straight. Camry, no plates. No plates. Uh, two black males. Okay, two black males. Okay, got it. There's, there's both hoodies, uh, they have masks pulled over their, ma uh, over their faces. Both hoodies uh, with masks on their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know where you're at. Yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this light. I'm going to try and catch up to them. Okay, let me know what road are you on. Where are you at right now? We're on 82 heading towards 77. 80, 82 heading towards 77. 82 towards 77. Towards 77. I'm saying it out loud. You just keep telling me, okay? Did you see any weapons? Any weapons? Okay, you said it's sunglasses. It's the same guys you said. Same guys with the yeah. Dollar General bag. Seventy-seven North. Seventy-seven North. Okay, seventy-seven North. You keep just keep telling me everything you need to know. It's a, a black Toyota Camry. Black Toyota Camry, no plates. No plates. 77 North. I'm just shouting it out loud. You just let me know what you got. 130, 60, show. I got them. They're talking to each other. I just 77 North. 77 North approaching Walling. I'm giving. 77 North. Low speed lane? Yes. Low, low speed lane. Got it. Okay. Okay, got it. Just keep telling me. Just keep. Okay, my caller is losing him. Still approaching Walling. Okay, they're all coming. Still approaching Walling. Okay, got it. Keep telling me. Okay, approaching Walling. Is he speeding up? The officers receive the robbery information and details about the robbers from the dispatch center operative. They wait patiently for the moment the getaway car will come into view so that they can apprehend the robbers. The chase begins as soon as the black vehicle drives by. Speed 80, traffic heavy on the bridge, trying to make it through cars here. He's in the speed lane. We're in the middle of the bridge, crossing over into Valley View. I don't know if he's going to be getting off of transportation or not. 58 on behind him, that's not his name. I'm just trying to catch up with you on. Give 
Novit Transportation, speed 90, slowing. Yeah, advise Garfield, you see Novit Transportation. Speed slowing to 40. Coming out to the transportation. North on transportation, speed 40. Right on them. Let me know if you want me to do anything else but pursue. I got a car field unit with me. We're getting back on the highway going westbound. Okay, copy. You're good to pursue. Copy. I'm on them. Speed 38. Getting back westbound. I got two car field units with me. The speed is high chase and the criminals don't look like they will be slowing down. This lead to a multi-jurisdictional pursuit between Brecksville, Independence, Cuyahoga Heights, Newburgh Heights, and Garfield Heights Police Departments. Exiting Lorraine. Exiting onto Lorraine. They just hit a vehicle to bail. One male bailed. One male bailed. He hit my car. Tell that Garfield, yeah, he's got to pursue on his own. My vehicle is dysfunctional at this point. They struck a vehicle, West 85th and Lorraine. I'm out on foot. Cuffs, 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 cuffs. I got cuffs, I got cuffs. All right, we got one in custody. 89th and uh, Lorraine. Oh, I think I broke my finger. You guys good? Good job, Both good? Good job. You get the other guy too? Nice. Fuck yeah. I'm going to walk back to my cruiser. All right. He hasn't been patted down yet, right? No. You got anything on you? No, I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't. You need medical? Huh? You need medical? You hurt? I'm later. Yeah. Bad. Not bad. Here. Roll to your butt. I'm gonna sit. Roll to, roll to that knee, I'm gonna help you up, alright? Right knee, roll up. Wanna get him in the back ears for a moment? After a long chase and even more reckless driving, the vehicle suddenly stops hitting another vehicle waiting for the light. One of the culprits gets out to continue the journey on foot, but officers are onto them now. A few moments later, the other culprit driving the car attempts to do the same, but he does not get very far. The search for the other culprit does not end, with one down officers believe it will be easy to get the other. In addition to their stealing, the culprits had also put their lives and the lives of other drivers in danger, so they will be charged with several traffic violations if the police have anything to say about that. On to the next one, this culprit has had too much fun and thinks she is above the law. On the 14th of December, 2023, officers at Edgewater, Florida receive a call about a disturbance at a local bar where a company is throwing a party for its staff. One of the employees, a drunk lady, is raving about a missing phone and starts to cause trouble when the officers arrive to handle it. Out of the car with a prop. No, so we already escalated right. it and we fly. Let me go make sure that we got that. Is this some, is she somehow involved? Yeah, yes, yes, my phone. The bitch stole oh, okay. my phone. Okay. Okay. What's going on? I was inside. I went to the bathroom and my phone is in the center. Oh my goodness. And I left him with like four other people that I work with when we had we had a fucking <laughs> Get her out of here. Like, and I come back 
And it's done. You can ask that girl over there who hates everybody. Her name is Danielle Green. The officer arrives the bar to find that the situation is getting handled, but that a couple of other fights have broken out as a result. He finds a crying woman, the cause of all the trouble, and tries to get an idea of what must have gone down. She is clearly drunk and slurring her words, so her husband comes over to help out. Ah. Go talk to him to the side. She's trying to blame everybody she can. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're at a Christmas party for the company her, where she works at yeah. River Deck, and we left there, and a couple of the coworkers said, "Hey, we're going to high top." So they left. She got in another car other than me. I drove our car. She drove with somebody else. Now she had her purse with her, with her wallet, her phone, all that stuff in it. She came here. I got here, and I went inside. They're already here. She was in the back corner. As some gentleman, he's older. First, I was like. What the but uh, I don't know, she's saying that she, she resonated with him. I don't know, they're crying, she's hugging all over and whatever. I said, hey babe, what's going on? I got her out of that, and I got her out of the parking lot to leave. And we get in the car, and she's like, where's my phone? I'm like, what do you mean, where's your phone? Her purse is empty, she's got nothing in it. I don't know who robbed her in there. I really don't know what happened. Did she check the car that she drove in? That's what I've been trying to ask her, babe. What, who the f drove her here? What, where's the car at so we can look in it? And nobody's, everybody's like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I don't know if anyone's trying to get in trouble or whatever, I don't know. Um, and then I, she's going off in the bar called you guys and I'm trying to call them back but it's yeah. Well apparently they may have taken off and it just happened. Amy. 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 I'm gonna try to talk to you one more time. I think you're gonna go in handcuffs so we're gonna have a different conversation. How do you pronounce that? Why are you being difficult? And you're being rude and threatening to put me in handcuffs for no reason. Well, for disorderly conduct right now. No. Because you're the only one screaming. I know yeah. my right. Apparently, the woman had arrived in an unknown car and gotten so drunk she left her purse carelessly hanging around. While trying to leave, she realizes that the contents of the purse had been stolen, wallet, phone, and credit cards. Other staff are refusing to offer any help, and the woman got very hysterical and started yelling and crying. The officers try to help her, but she is being disorderly. This causes the officer to threaten to put her in handcuffs. No, I'm doing hot like that. So what's going right on? There. That man just sold me. Okay. What is going? What's going on? You sulted me. Okay. Okay. Relax. Why don't we have a Why don't we have a seat on a bumper? No. Talk to you. Just get in the car. What do you mean no? You just called us over, and I'm here I to said, help you. I said. I said. I didn't say no. You just said no. I said. No, why don't I you did have not. A seat for a second, and let me talk no, to I you. No, I did. Okay. What that happened? man assaulted me. What do you mean assaulted you? Bam! Put his hands on him. I saw him. Okay. That's why I asked, because that's not what an assault is but here in the state right. of Florida. It's all right. Okay. That's called a battery. So that's why I asked you. So lose the attitude. I'm trying to figure out what happened. Yes, sir. Okay. I didn't touch him. You see anything? Uh, no. No one sees anything. I didn't touch him. He's lying. <laughs> He was in the bar, and that's one of the guys that work in there, calling me a mother or for everything. I didn't say anything now. And he came out here, calling me it again, and I said, please, sir, get away from me. And he got up on me, and that was about it. There wasn't no hands exchanged, no nothing like that. It was my best friend. Okay. I thought he was a friend. And why are you guys fighting? Uh, because he wants to date her. Do you know him? No, not really. No, What's no. not really? Like you seen him here or you seen No, him I seen him at a different bar. Tonight? No. No, no, no. Okay, what do you want us to do about it? No. Do you want us to arrest no, no. him? No. You Nothing. want to file charges? No. Nothing. Then why are you calling me over? I just wanted to get him away. While the officer tries to solve one issue, another erupts somewhere else in the parking lot. One man accuses another of assaulting him for no reason. The story is unclear, but it seems the two males have been friends in the past and are now fighting over a woman. Why are you pushing people? I don't know. Hey, Amy, get over here. Amy, get over here. What? Stop. Who are you? Stop. Oh. The police department. Okay. Stop. Okay. You're going to go to jail, okay. Amy. Stop. 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 I'm sorry. What Put do you mean? Back. Yeah. Video, video, video. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Stop. I assaulted Kristen. Video this, AJ. Take a deep breath and relax. I am. Please, can you talk to me? Why Are you going to calm down? Are you going to calm down? 100%. Why do you look like my friend Jenna? I'm sorry. You're spitting image of her.
Okay, you're under arrest. I am alive. For disorderly intoxication at this Why? Time. Oh my god. What did I do disorderly? Can you please read me my Miranda rights? No, that's please. not necessary, thank yes. you. Yes. Huh? You know your rights. No, shut you the need f up. to me. Shut the f up. Please, spread please. Your feet. Spread your feet. Just shut the f up. Why? Just shut please. up. Please, can we just. Take your husband's advice right now. Please. <laughs> I got robbed today, though, guys. Please, it was a Christmas party. Can you please have sympathy on okay, me? Okay, but you please. can't go in there and start fights with people. I didn't. The girl was talking shit to me. She said she went up punch me in the. The chaos seems to take on more shape as the lady with the stolen property begins to assault others while searching for her things. The officers have lost patience with the whole thing and will now be detaining her so isn't a danger to herself or others at the bar. Yeah, I got, I'm a white AJ, AJ, AJ. <laughs> uh, this is wrong, right? AJ, this is wrong, phone? right? This is wrong. I try to warn you, and you did what you did. Exactly. But I'm going to get you out. What did I do? What I did? They stole my money. I am wrong, guys. I am wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Relax. I will get you out. Get out. We're going to do violent prison restraints. AJ, please help me. Amy, I will get you out. AJ, AJ, and you know I'm not wrong. We will that. fight this in court. While they try to take the woman away, she remains difficult and loud. The officers try all they can to get her to calm down, but nothing works. She blames everybody and accuses the officers of doing something wrong to her, but she brought this upon herself. She is probably going to get charged with disorderly intoxication, but I would say the officers handled the whole situation as good as they could. But you should see how they handled the next one. On May 29, 2023 in Florida, deputies responded to calls of a woman and man stealing backpacks at the beach. When they arrived, the victims had caught the woman and were holding her for the officers. This is footage of the events that followed. Here right now. Beach alive, more Thank you, I appreciate it. Hi there. Help, help, help. Go ahead, stand up. Help. Stand up, help. right now you're being detained help. to figure out what's going on. Help. help. Stop saying help. Hey, just you guys. Don't, who got stuff stolen? We did. All right, you guys just. All right, just do me a favor. If you guys just, you just stand over here, we'll come over here. Just wait, wait, wait right here. We'll talk to you guys separately. Okay. All right, we'll go from there. All right. Do you have? Yeah. No, we're gonna put them on right now. Hold on. Do you have anything on you for property or here? No. Property wise, no. Okay. I'm gonna sit in the back of my car if you feet aren't burning. All right. Oh, 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 and then I'll, oh, I'll talk oh. to you over here. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Right, well, the inside of my car will be nice and cool for you. You guys want to press charges, I'm assuming? Yes. yes. All right, did you get your, are you all right? Do you need paramedics? No. Yeah. There you go. Hop up for me. Yeah. There you go. All right. See? There you go. You're off the heat. Thank you. All right. Oh, 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 oh. You good? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to have to come, just come clean you up. Maybe get... The victims have come together to detain the woman, and that's what the officers find when they arrive. The woman does not appear to be violent and lets the officer put her in handcuffs so he can investigate the incident. There are two victims who claim to have gotten their backpacks stolen. Bleed some scratches on her neck. Call notes, 4700. It's a beach access. Sir, can I press charges? Can you press charges for what? Yes. Being attacked. For what? Being attacked. All right, we're going to talk about that. Yes. What's your last name? So, who had stuff stolen? Three of us. The so three of you. All right, do you guys have IDs? Do you have my phone? Yeah, I didn't get that. I don't know where her wallet is. She took her wallet? Oh, that's great. She took my wallet. This bag? Guy had this bag. I snatched this bag from the guy. Yeah, so that means so the guy he, he stole the, take the, took the, the wallet. Stuff. Took the wallet. Great. Okay, so what guy? She, she was with that guy. You don't press charges? That's not how this works. You're out here stealing shit. 
and this is what happened. Mm -hmm. They ha you had other people's property. But my my bag was white. That was stolen the other day. So you s come out here. No, listen, this deputy's gonna talk to you. All right. Don't open your mouth and, and say that you're the victim here. That's bullshit. Whatever. I'm tired of that. That's not going to happen. What's going to happen is, is you're going to go to jail what? for multiple charges. But what? Multiple. But I... And as one of them may be robbery. But because I... you beat somebody, you had their property yeah. on you. Yeah, but... That's the charge. Strong arm robbery. They took mine. It's bullshit. They took mine. My purse. Some random anything. person took yours and they came back next day? That's bullshit. Why would they have the same back? Did, did you look at... Did, did you ask them if it was yours? No. No, you just took it. So you're going to talk to the deputies. Don't play victim here you took somebody else's bag and then you start fighting them out here that's called robbery were, that's called robbery that's a second degree felony that's a that's a hundred thousand dollar bond one of the victims had sustained a nosebleed and some scratches and the officer wants to get her checked out the suspect asks to press charges for being attacked but she does not realize she herself is facing multiple charges of theft but playing the victim won't work here, seeing as she and her partner, who is yet to be found, not only stole from the actual victims, but tried to fight them as well. They sold this, they sold that bag, they sold his bag, they sold four bags. All the injuries that you have, is that all from her? Yeah, in my nose and yeah. Yeah, you get it on your neck. Yeah. And, okay. Was that when you were trying to grab her to keep her from stealing your stuff or? Yeah, like I grabbed her hand and I was like, please get our stuff back because she wasn't, she was like trying to run away. Yeah. I was like, give me my stuff. Was he still here when you guys were doing that? No, he bolted. And then she like just. All right. Wrecked. So how did that happen? Was she punching you or she, what? She punched me and then I like tried to grab her to like push her off of me. And then she was like trying to just like attack me and get away and steal our things. Gotcha. And then I was like self-defensing, like pushing her off. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's self-defense all day. Now who owns the white bag? Me. Is that the one she was originally had? She had all of them. Okay. Like, my bag was Okay, which one's her bag? Her bag's right here. Okay, that's her bag. All right, so the, this, this white bag. Okay. Whether or not this is stolen from someone else. Right, so this, so the white bag she was claiming originally was, was hers that was stolen the other day, and it says, that's my bag, and I was taking it back, what she was saying, so, which is bullshit, so, yeah. It has my ID in it and everything. Right, exactly. Did you already go through this? She got a warrant, uh, $10,000 bond. Well, this is going to be hard. Oh, yeah. Easily. Oh. Hello? 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 Witnesses saw you take items that aren't yours, that belong to those people. More more bags than they. Then when, you try to, when, when they try to get their bags back, you continue to try to forcefully take them. There's, and there's witnesses that say this. You can argue it all day, all you want. There's five or six of them and one of you. That's how that works. All right? So, you're getting charged with those. All right? You're getting charged with trespassing because you've been trespassed from here. You're getting... During investigations, the officer finds out that the woman has a warrant out for her arrest and a shady profile. It turns out that the suspect had received a trespass warning to ever step foot on the beach again, so she's breaking that by being there. Plus, in addition to the victims, witnesses came forward to report what they saw of the incident. When the officers find drugs in her own bag pack, they have more than enough reason to detain and charge her with that once they find her proof of ownership. I can't imagine what one woman has to do to end up getting trespassed from all public places and to even get banned from using the bus, which looks to be her most used source of transportation. If her theft proves to be true, then the suspect can end up getting charged with three counts of felonies of theft and the warrant that was already out for her. On December 21st, 2023, officers in Ohio responded to a call from staff of a local bar reporting an intoxicated female who was attempting to drive home, but she was too drunk to even find her vehicle. When the officers arrived at the bar, the staff member told the officers that the woman was no longer welcome at the establishment and received a trespass warning. Find your vehicle. Hi. 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 We got a call and they said that you were trying to get home. How can we help you get home? I don't know what you mean. Are you trying to go home? With my friends. With your friends? Okay. Where do you live at? Uh, at home. Okay. So obviously they said that you were trying to leave and you came back because you couldn't find your car. Is that right? 
Who said that? I don't know. I'm just here to help you get home. Okay. What's the plan on getting home? Officers locate the woman sitting at the bar exhibiting clear signs of intoxication and informed her she was no longer welcome at the bar. They even offered to help her get someone to take her home, but the woman immediately became and cheeky. She told the officers she would drive home despite being informed that it was not an option. The situation escalated as the woman demanded that officers take her home, call her an Uber. The police are not a ride-hailing service, and this woman is about to find out. What do you think? That doesn't help us get you home, though. I don't need your car. Well, then how about you take me home? I won't do that. Okay. Why won't you, you do that? Well, number one, you won't even tell me where you live. Why? You didn't ask me. I did. Yeah, it's not a joke. It is a joke, actually. We're just trying to get you home safe, that's all. It is a joke. They call You're me. literally arresting me in public for nothing. So the problem is they don't want you here. Who doesn't want me here? The bar. The bar wants you to leave. The bar doesn't want you Yeah. So oh, they don't want okay. you here. There's no one here to care for you. And you can't care for yourself due to your level of intoxication. But so we have two options. So first you're going to pick you up, you can jail for DC and talk for 12 hours. So but we, we don't want to do that. As you understand that we don't want to go that route. We want someone to come pick you up. But as a public officer, yeah. you can't even take me home. It's too far away. We have other calls we have to no, get to. We're that's not, not how that works. Right I'm sorry, did the bar cut me off? I believe so. They actually want you out of there. They actually never cut me off. Well, they're, they called us, they want you off. Hey. The bar never cut me off. Now they have the police trying to get me out of here. They're trying to take me to jail now. We're actually trying to move the office. They're not taking me to jail. That's not true. Can I, so, can I talk to that person? Sure, but she's not capable of like coming to get me for anywhere. So unless you're going to take me to... I mean, this is my aunt. All right, listen, so, it's either you go to jail or you have someone pick you up. That's your two options. Which one do you want? All right, so she, little Linda over here is like, I either have somebody to pick me up or I go to jail right now. That's this big awkward I don't know why that. Because suddenly the jail overserved me, and then they suddenly the were like, You're not the jail. You're not a jail. Or the bar overserved me, and suddenly you're like, Oh, get her out of this bar. Can you please get in your car and come get me? Get. Asking the police to take you home is one thing, but demanding it as if it were a right is another thing. The officers can't go off duty to drive her home, so they ask her to call someone to get her out but she refuses. If she refuses to leave, the officers will have to detain her and keep her overnight. Oh my God, no! You are under arrest. I am not! You are under arrest. Put your hands For what? It's totally intoxication. I am not even public intoxication. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. I swear to God, keep, keep dragging me. Keep I will walking. knock you the over. No, stop dragging me. Stop dragging me. We're not dragging you. You're not she walking. is. We're just holding on to you. No, you're. Stop dragging me. Walk, walk. No one's dragging me. We're just holding on to you. All right, walk. but somebody has to call my kid. Okay. I'm letting him know where I'm at. Walk All right, out here. Let's go to the police car here. How old is your kid? He's 15. Okay. There's my car. I have to go home tonight. Okay. You guys are like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna beg you to please put these handcuffs in a friend of mine. Well, you threatened to beat our ass. We're not putting Alright, I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. Have a seat. No, I can't. I Get swear up. to God, I cannot. Alright, then I'm gonna sit backwards. You can sit with your butt and your hands I going in don't that way. want you to touch me. Okay. Have a seat. Get your hands off me. It's not gonna happen. Have a seat. I will go sit backwards. Just have a seat. Okay, before. that's fine. Go sit back that way. You can't sit backwards. It's not even possible. Oh, okay. sit sideways. I cannot. Oh, we gotta put the seatbelt on you. No, I'll sit. Can you act like an adult and just sit in there and let us? The suspect makes a call for someone to come get her out, but it looks like she is just stalling so that the officers can leave. They run out of patience with her and place her under arrest. She resists, of course and even threatens to assault of the officers as she is being removed from the bar. There you go. 
just tell me, put that one again. I gotcha. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. We're good. around her to get her seatbelt on. I'm almost got it clicked in and she just kicks. The suspect has some difficulty getting into the car and tries to get the officers to believe she is in discomfort so they can release her. When they ignore her actions and continue to make sure she is secured, she becomes hysterical and starts to yell. The scene gets messy quickly when she tries to escape the vehicle. The suspect continues to be disorderly and verbally abusive towards the officers doing their job. She ends up getting charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. Our final suspects are a duo who think they can outsmart store security, but they get the surprise of their lives when the police show up to detain them. On July 31, 2023, officers were dispatched in response to a 911 call reporting an ongoing shoplifting incident at multiple clothing stores. They were informed by the caller that two females were attempting to remove tags from merchandise and conceal them in their purses. Folded. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Austin Hey Bloom Police Partial here on camera. Have we been going to a lot of stores lately? No. So why have we been getting calls about you two ripping off magnet tags? What? Ripping off magnet tags? I just came out of America Eagle. So security said they've seen you guys rip off multiple magnet tags. Yeah, they ain't seen me do nothing. We can go back to America Eagle. Yeah, you guys aren't free to go, all right? You guys are staying right here, all right? No, I'm saying we can go to America Eagle. That's where we just left. We just came in here. All right, you guys are not free to leave. We're figuring until we figure out what's going on, all right? That's what we've been told we have to go off that, all right? We just walked in here. I know, they said you were an American Eagle Foot Locker. I walked in finish line and asked for some shit. Why he didn't say nothing to me? So, I'm, so we figure out what's going on. Man, you want to come over here? What we got to do, what we should do? Do you mind opening up your purse so we see what, so make sure there's no items in there that might be stolen? That right? is crazy, no. All right, that's fine. So we've got multiple people saying we've seen it. We've got multiple people saying otherwise. And usually what happens is they put it in their purse. Where we need to go back to America Eagle I'm or Fair Farm? I'm for both of them. Uh, no, we're going to have my other officers come here. We're going to figure out what's going on, all right? So we got to stand right here. Yep. So where you what, what, what's going on the magnet tags? I don't know what they're talking about. Nobody got a magnet tag. Why did they say nothing to us? Well, usually they don't say anything. They just report it. The officer arrives to find the two women still looking at clothes at the store. The officer explained the situation to the suspects, but they denied any such charges of theft or damage to the store properties. When asked to look into their purses, the two women refused to grant any such access. I'm not, I'm not detained. Yes, you are. You're being detained. How? Because we've got multiple calls from security saying that you guys are ripping magnet tags off, put stuff, and taking stuff we out of the store. We don't have nothing. All right, then what's, may I see, look inside your purse? Yeah, you can look inside my purse. And what, look inside but what I want to know is at what point did they say you guys because... Because they described black female, black shirt, gray sweats, black female. Where my purse at? Where, where, I haven't had a purse since he's seen me. Call him back over here. He is, he's over there. Tell him back over here. He ain't seen me with a purse since I've been in here. All right. And I see him in American Eagle, and I walk down the finish line. He walked by over there. I haven't had a purse since I came in this mall. All right. Like I said, that's what the information we've been given. And he like, he, uh, was, he, he said we was ripping no, off. No, I don't. He said we were ripping okay. off okay. Can we get your name real quick? Yeah, Kira. Okay, I appreciate it. And talking about some... You understand why we're here? Yeah, they he said that they got us on like, camera. He's talking about I got you. I said, why you don't come talk to me? So that what no, like, we well, my problem is that I have, I have security. On, they've seen you guys on camera take jeans from American Eagle, take tags off with your purse, no and drop them off in a car. Hold on. Let's go to American Eagle. Show I have. I don't have a purse. I don't exactly. have a purse. That purse. Ain't nothing. I ain't been. I no, that's why you guys went to the car. That's why you guys went to the car and dropped it off. You didn't drop nothing off. No, didn't see me nothing. No, I didn't take anything. I haven't I had a purse. Nothing. No, not, no, don't put me with that. No, come you on, show the me camera. the camera. Let's show that. Can we walk down there? I want to see this camera. Then they no. Say, then they saying magnet, uh, magnets. 
Every store is different, you know. Exactly. Please. We so really? can we please put it on camera? No. I don't have no keys. We don't have no keys. I don't have a purse. You Why do we have multiple purse? people telling me the same thing? We don't have. Oh, you we said ain't I even been in the mall. mall. We literally just went to America Eight one and, and we said right Foot Locker. This is finish line. This is where every, I went in. Every Ask store them. that you guys were at. Come on, let's How? go to every store. Hey, let's go to the store. You said we can walk. The women try to leave, but the officer keeps them detained till they can get some evidence to back up the shoplifting accusations from the CCTV footage. The women continue to argue with the officers despite hearing that there is recorded evidence of them taking tags off clothes, hiding it in their purse, and going to stash them in their vehicle. One of the suspects insists that she has nothing to do with the incident, while the other one with the purse asks to be shown the evidence. It is pretty clear that something fishy is going on here. Would you have a sensor remover in there? No. Okay, can I look in your purse? So when you look through my purse, what, what we don't go from there. Well, we're just gonna see if you have that in there. That's all I need to see. That's okay. Yeah. Remember, remember, remember what I was talking about? We're being straight with you. Yeah. Just be straight with us. And you just let him look at your purse? Yeah. No, he didn't look at my purse. Okay. So when you go in here and you see it ain't no removal, what's gonna happen? Okay. There we go. That's just, that's just a piece of the puzzle we're trying to figure out, but that's we're getting claims that there might be one in there. How are we both putting something in one purse? This money, these tampons. Okay. All right. I got money to shop. Okay. All right. Please, look, can you look again, please, okay, I'm, so I'm you here. can let I'm them know? Up. I have cash on me. With the stolen clothes already hidden, the officers can only look for clues to corroborate the shoplifting claim. They ask again to search the suspect's purse for a sensor remover, and she agrees too easily. It's almost suspicious. Of course, the officers don't find anything when they search, so they might have to find other methods to prove the two women have the items that they took. What are you holding me for? What are you pulling me for? But turn it on my phone. What are you pulling me for? What did I do? You're under arrest. For what? You're also being charged for resisting. How? You keep pulling the lady. I'm not. I'm talking to you. What did I take? You don't got nothing on me. Tabling. Keep on looking for that car. Is you serious? All right. You go through again. Is you serious? Walk out there. Walk out there. Just keep walking. Keep on walking. Is you serious? You just check. You just checked my bag. Yeah, but they're something different. What? What is it? You'll find out. What? What is it? So you can take the bag. I'm not trying to do nothing. Okay. All right. Y'all doing all of this for for what? Which vehicle is yours out here? I don't got no vehicle out here. This this kind of tight on my arm right here. Right. I'm not trying to move and do nothing. Yeah. Can I get my? Can you have my sister since yeah, she's not please. the same? Can I talk to her? Not yet. What's up? Keys. In her bra. Alright. I take those. Yeah, I'm yes. going to. You can you can take them. Okay, okay. hold still. But can I uh can you tell my sister what what's going on? I'm gonna ask. Uh, listen, I will give you the key. The officers already have the video of the one of the suspects carrying out the crime, so they place her under arrest for retail theft while they investigate. The suspect has hidden her keys and refuses to tell the officers where her car might be. At first, she argues with the officers, but when she realizes she's been caught, she goes quiet. You no, know, a bunch of tags were ripped off of stuff and stuff. I never listen. Just because the tags was ripped off, that don't mean I took nothing. They tried to say I had a sensor removed. I don't, I don't got nothing. How can y'all hold somebody? Y'all don't got no evidence. Y'all don't got no evidence. Of but nothing. their store doesn't have any reason to lie, right? Yeah, but they. So that's but, why we're trying to piece see, it together. But sometimes they be sitting over there thinking that. A that, that's all I ask. So, okay. what's gonna happen from here? So they're gonna look at the cameras, get an inventory list, and then they'll come out and talk to us and let us know what the cameras showed and all that. So my partner's in there looking now, and he'll be right back out. So, in a few um, can my sister come get me? Uh, well, depending. I mean, if there's camera footage of you taking stuff, then obviously you're gonna go to jail, but then you'll be able to bond out. Yeah. So when, like, can I bond out today? Yeah, you should be able to bond out today. Like, what? Depend I mean, so there's levels of retail theft, right? If it's uh -huh. over three hundred dollars, then it's a felony. If it's under, it's a misdemeanor. I'm guessing five pairs of bags and, full of stuff. And now your bag's empty. I didn't come. And then when where you walked by on the exit, there's a pair of jeans with one with a tag directly in the pocket, right where you were standing. Yep. Pretty. And also, this was on your pants. I was up in there though. Same pair, same pair of jeans that was stolen. I didn't take none. They was on there. Uh huh. How they get on your pants? They was on it because I was grabbing them. I can lift it up. I can pull them up. Who said I can't touch it? So when you pick something up, you don't just rub it against your pants like that. No, it came off because it was already coming off. I didn't take nothing. We, we've got more than enough to take you for retail theft. So. What, what and then as well, when we go to Aeroposso, I see you on scene, 
I see you have a pair of jeans, and you see me put those jeans down. That same pair of jeans, the sales associate came up and said the tag was removed from that pair of jeans. No, they was not. Why that tag? The suspect continues to deny stealing any clothes from the stores, but there is evidence of them removing tags off of certain items. The store is reviewing footage to identify the missing items, after which the suspect will be charged, depending on the value. The suspect continues to deny even after the officers find evidence of the theft and missing items. The woman gets charged with retail theft and resisting arrest. I don't know what her plan was, but getting away with this crime was definitely impossible.